Welcome back to Make, Build, Modify. I'm Justin, and today I'm gonna to take this giant printer apart. I've got a couple small ones here I'm gonna take apart also. I'm gonna see if there's any good usable parts in here. Fast forward through the slow parts, and I'll stop and show you the good stuff that I get out of it that's usable for any kind of project. There's some good paper. That's pretty useful, I'll save that. Some rubber feet. That might be good for some project later on. Here's some, they look like little rollers. They were there to probably support the paper. They're real thin, maybe stainless. I'd probably cut it up and just keep it for stainless shim stock. It's got some cool little rollers on it though. This is the reservoir for where all the ink cartridges were. It has little pipes that go probably out to the inkjet head. I'm gonna cut those. Hopefully they don't make a mess. Oh, yeah. It's getting all over me. Ooh. Ugh. There's a little motor right there. I'll take that out later. This looks like a, a cooling fan. Oh, it's got some crazy adhesive on it. Ugh. Woo! That's a uh, little squirrel cage. Got a little stepper motor, a little brass gear on it. I keep thinking I've cut myself because there's red ink coming out of this thing everywhere. Another little motor, a little spiral gear on that. There's a big roller right here. I think it's a uh, hollow. Pretty light. I wonder if I can get these rubber grommets off. Ugh. Yep, sure enough. I wonder what that is, let me get a magnet. Oh yeah, it's iron. At least some sort of ferrous. Could be nickel, I guess, but it seems like it's steel of some sort. Aluminum bar, kinda has a really unique shape to the end there. It's high precision, so. There's a really long belt. The drive belt for the print head. I don't know if you can see the ridges on the belt. Maybe a little farther away. About three feet. Wow, that's the biggest motor yet. It's got some heft to it. This little head and the drive belt work together, so that, that might be useful. That is a nice piece of track. It's very straight. This could be used for maybe a camera dolly or something like that. It has little tiny holes in it where these little machine screws go in. So this could be mounted on a base. They're every, I think, four or five inches. Not much left there. Looks like this power supply is probably useful. This part here is the controller. This part here looks like a power supply that any, any other power supply you'd see on a computer or something like that. I think that was worth doing. I didn't retrieve as many parts as I thought I would for a printer that size, but I did learn something taking it apart, just seeing how the thing was put together. Let me go over what I retrieved and you can decide. We got a tray full of screws. I'll probably throw that in my miscellaneous screw bin. A lot of those are Torx drives. Got the three foot belt, drive belt, rubber drive belt. There's a motor that goes along with that drive belt. Nice heavy stout motor, DC. And I've got three other little motors. So four motors in that printer all together. That's pretty cool. And if I don't end up using those, there's magnets inside these motors. So I could always get the magnets out and use them for a project. I've got two fans. I held this stock uh, out because it has real thin, and it looks like stainless maybe. That might be good shim stock, big roller. I'm sure it's pretty precise and it's it feels like it's hollow. And I pulled all of these rubber grommets off. Hey, 
handful of them, big old handful of them. <laughs> nice steel rod, about three eighths of an inch in diameter, maybe four feet long. Like I said, I'd probably want to use that for a camera dolly. I think actually I'm probably going to use that for that. And there's this other piece of aluminum. It's got this weird kind of a curly Q shape to it. That's precision. Finally, the roll of paper, of course. That's always useful for you name it. Really appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one.